Okay, welcome to Project Abundance, and uh, Lewis is going to give us a quick demonstration on uh, the no dig method. Um, so, what you what you been doing, and what are you doing at the moment? Um, well, basically, we're um, starting one of our no dig beds, uh, which is basically um, an easy way of growing veg without having to go through the maintenance of all the, uh, the weeds coming through constantly. Okay. Um, and basically. Um, We've dug a trench here, uh, just so that we know what's underneath the soil before we start lying stuff on top. So uh, how deep was that? How the trench? Or yeah, about about a foot, maybe about a foot, foot yeah. and a half, roughly. Um, then we're adding some manure and some compost that we made last year, um, and some worms to the bottom, okay. just so that. Uh, just gonna zoom round to see. Yeah, that would be so that the plants have food to to go down to. Um, so put a uh, layer of cardboard over the top, which is basically a weed suppressor, a compostable weed suppressor. So that's going to stop any weed seeds coming through, um, but also going to break down and add to the compost and the organic matter. Um, so yeah, and then we add what we've taken out back onto the um, top of the cardboard. Um, and then a layer of straw or mulch over the top, which will stop any moisture coming there, uh, escaping which will mean less water in um, and also less maintenance to stop the weeds coming through as easily. So um, in theory, we should only need to dig this once. Many people just don't. Just once. Yeah, many yeah. people don't dig. They just put the cardboard on top and build up. But Can you show us some of the, uh, um, the, the compost underneath the, yeah, so yeah, we sure. can see what the sort of structure of it is? You can see there's a lot of, you can see the difference between the soil that we've got here it's very crumbly. Yeah, yeah. quite fine. Yeah. Um, so it doesn't really retain the water too well. So when we water it, it's just going to fall straight through to the bottom and not going to have any yeah. chance for the roots to get hold of it. So there's plenty so of bulky got, matter in there. There's yeah, there's hay. There's all our old material or waste material from last year. Um, we've been composting that over the winter, so that's going to add a load of nutrients and also help retain the water a lot more. Okay. I'm just um, back on you. So, yeah, we're just going to add the material we've taken out back on top now. Um, and then, yeah, add some straw on top and it's ready for planting. So, and every year, like I say, you dig it once. Um, every year you then build back on top the cardboard and break down. So you add another layer of okay. um, yeah. weed suppressor, so to speak. And you just keep building up and it up and up and yeah, eventually the nutrients will fall from the top rather than get sucked up through the bottom. So, so you're creating a, like a dome mound? Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. And um, there's advantages to that as well is because it's raised, if you plant things like carrots, then uh, carrot fly can only fly up to 20 centimetres. So if you've got your bed higher than 20 centimetres, you're not going to be bothered by those kind of pests. So okay. There's all these little things that, um, yeah, that it's advantageous too. So case of trial and error and uh, see yeah. how they work but from previous experience they, they seem to be doing good which is why we're carrying on with them. <laughs> 